Hey guys, what's up? Kate Machi is here. We're gonna be doing a crock pot meal today. chicken chipotle type bowl those bowls you get at chipotle that kind of thing super simple super easy prep you could put it in you know to cook and come back after work or errands and you're good to go originally got the recipe off taste of home and i actually did a little bit myself a couple of my own ideas to make it more my personal recipe so i love this this is more of a comfort food super easy meal on the go so we are going to stick five pounds of chicken breasts in here and honestly I didn't cut it I didn't do anything to it I took it out of my freezer let it defrost now this does take about five and a half hours five to six hours to cook so make sure you put it in you know that much time at least before you want to eat it now um, we put our chicken breasts in now we are going to put some organic diced tomatoes on in here and we're going to put some green chilies some bell peppers and onions i did about one onion and three bell peppers so i'm going to stick those in here i'm just going to kind of coat everything over the chicken breasts now if you want to be very particular you can put everything in another bowl mix it up and then pour it over the chicken breasts but to me i'm just going to stir it up in the end so we're just going to just kind of put those over that and I was able to cut this all up when I had time the other day and now it's in here um, the onions I did cut fresh because I don't like letting them sit in my fridge once they're cut open so now we're gonna do about um, three 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes I get the big pack at Costco it saves time and money really and I'm just gonna kind of Drain them a little bit. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do two cans today. Two cans of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna put our diced green chilies. Um, they're fire roasted, dried, and then they're green chilies. So in the four ounce cans. So I'm gonna put probably four to five of these cans in there, just because we really like these chilies. Okay, now we're going to put some fresh garlic in there. We're going to do four cloves of fresh garlic. First, smoked paprika. I'm going to put about two teaspoons in there. So this is definitely going to be more of a smokier type teaspoon at Chipotle Bowl. Now we're gonna do some fresh salt. They say about a teaspoon, so I do usually about a teaspoon. And then we're going to put a teaspoon of the ground cumin and the chipotle, chip, chipotle chili pepper. My goodness, I cannot talk today. So that's good to go. Um, I'm going to squeeze a couple lemons in there because we like that flavoring. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cook.
Hey you guys, so this is ready to cook. So as you can tell, we've got, it's all ready and it looks super good. So it's about 8 o'clock over here. I'm in our little like makeshift office laundry room area. So sorry about the ugly backdrop. <laughs> but um, Jonathan's sleeping right now. So that's why I'm not trying to be too loud. Anyways, um, the food's done earlier than I expected. So it was only like four hours and it's because I had it on high, my crock pot on high. And I just shredded the chicken and you'll see I'm going to add already cooked rice and beans and then just try to let it be on for a couple more minutes just so that it can heat the beans and rice all the way up thoroughly because I do want to serve some of it in just a few minutes. And I'm going to do some avocado and lime and tortilla with it and on the side and it's going to be a great avo like avocado ch chipotle bowl and I'll show you guys it. I'm so excited because it's so good and it made a ton so we'll be able to like put some in the freezer or have it throughout the day we can make burritos with it tacos with it just have it as a bowl salad toppings a bunch of different things with it so yeah I'm excited to show you guys what it turned out to be Like, seriously, that food looks so good, right? So, I'm so excited that you guys joined me today. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. Make sure and like and subscribe below. Make sure to click the bell when you subscribe, and we'll see you guys next Monday. Have a great week.